Every game has its own issues with logic. In Minecraft, you can violate every single law of physics written. In Gmod, you can travel at superhuman speeds like you're a Captain America. And in Elite, well, that's what I'm going to talk about. Stuff that makes no sense in Elite. Alright, let's get started. So our first entry on our list is how the ships and stations are stored. For example, plenty of people store ships in Jameson Memorial, and if you don't know what that is, you're living under a rock. Maybe not even a rock, a pebble. No, dust. I don't even know, bro. Even though the maximum ships that can be stored in one station is 40, there are thousands of commanders who make Jameson Memorial their home. Assuming that they each uh, store a couple ships there, like 4, maybe even 7, 15, all 40 if you're crazy. It finalizes that there are literally thousands of ships stored in the station somehow. I mean, take a look at this. There is no damn way 100 Meta de Lances are going to fit inside this station. This is the same when you buy a ship from the shipyard. So when you buy a ship, the station still has the same ship for stock. I mean, this might not sound that strange, but when you do this repeatedly over and over again, you're like, hey, where the hell are they getting all the ships from? And I'm like, bro, what? Bro, are they getting it from their interdimensional Thargoid portal? Well, this is one weird thing here, and it can literally be solved by Frontier by simply making up an excuse. Very uh, reminiscent of Frontier, which is that there are extremely secret and covert ship storage centers, and that's how all the ships are stored and stuff. Alright, secondly, we got the broken economy. A simple space Glock 19 costs more than a Sidewinder, a ship with a frameshift drive, thrusters, and everything other than that. What? No, no, no. The Sidey has to be a hundred, if not a thousand times bigger than the P-15. Another weird thing is, where the hell does the Scarab store items? For instance, the cargo canister is this big. The Scarabs can store four units of something. Oh, come on, okay, it doesn't feel like four canisters of anything won't even fit inside the scarab. Plus, we aren't even counting the power plant, life support, and all the raw material storage, and you can wonder, where the hell did they go? Like, what, the scarab's interdimensional storage unit? And finally, we have the DSS, or the Detailed Surface Scanner. It just kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, the DSS launches these little probes at a planet, which can scan a part of the planet when it quote quote strikes. All right, the first strange part we have here is about how it, there's infinite probes, all right? You can launch infinite probes. All right, here comes the Stargoid portal again, or Raxula portal, whatever, the, whatever you call it. Anyway, other than having infinite probes, they simply strike a planet's surface, and that counts as a scan. This really doesn't make sense at all, and it's pretty confusing of how a probe can literally provide information by crashing, but, it can make sense when you think that the pro rapidly scans a part of a planet and transfers the data to your computer before crashing, which is, well, a possible explanation. Well, that's really it for today, pilots, and uh, if there's other things in Elite which break logic, uh, just comment them down below, and I might be making a sequel, so you better wait for that. Anyways, 07, and comment down below if you have a different opinion or suggestion, and have a good one.